Time for your race recap from round 10 of the Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship and the final round of the Monster Energy Triple Crown of Motocross. Bud's Creek, Maryland playing host. Jason Wygant here taking it through it. First, let's go to our 250 class. Moto 1, conditions pretty good. A little sloppy out there after some rain on Friday, but on Saturday afternoon, it was all systems go. Jake Weimer able to wrestle the lead from Ryan Sipes early. Soon, Christophe Porcel puts the pressure on him in the number two position, and Ryan Dungey climbs up to third. The Monster Pro Circuit Kawasaki teammates battle for a little bit. Porcel is able to overcome his teammate and take the lead, but Weimer would not be that easy to pass for Dungey. Definitely wanting to run interference for his teammate. Weimer's going to hold off Dungey to take second. Porcel takes the win and further extends his series point lead. Motor number two, completely different conditions. Rain, rain, and more rain. Check this out. Christophe Porcel and Justin Barsha come together, and then they determine there was a mistake off the start with the gate procedure, so we go back and red flag it, restart again. Totally different this time. Weimer is going to get the early lead in the 19th, quickly passed by Brett Metcalf, who has his best start in a long time. Metcalf still yet to win a moto in this tour. Wanted to take advantage in some of the rainiest, muddiest conditions you will ever see. Purcell back there in third, content to just get to the finish line and score solid championship points. While Dungey had to work his way up from ninth without goggles, no less, passing rider after rider to eventually get to fourth. Solid, determined run by Dungey. Meanwhile, up front, Weimer never let Metcalf go. And with one lap to go, he takes the lead from Metcalf, and then the race is shut down. The banks of the creek and pond in the middle of the facility had started to overflow. This race had to end, and that means Jake Weimer goes 2-1 on the day to win his third race of the season. Most importantly, Christophe Porcel outscores Ryan Dungey on points for the day as their second and third in the overall. Let's move to the 450 class. Chad Reed with an outside shot at wrapping up the championship two rounds in advance. But he gets a bad start here in Moto 1. Tyler Bowers, Dan Reardon sliding around in the first turn. They slow some riders up. Davey Millsaps takes advantage, gets the lead, and absolutely checks out on his Honda Red Bull racing ride. Jeff Alessi in the number two spot. A whole bunch of competition behind him. First, Cody Cooper, who goes down. Later on, Jake Moss and Matt Gerke, the replacement riders for Kawasaki and Yamaha in the hunt. Then Gerke goes down. Moss will go down himself. Chad Reed would have an off-track excursion early in this, but come all the way back. He'd work his way past Alessi to get into second, and then go after the 15-second lead that Millsaps had built up on him. Reed's able to catch him, but then Millsaps steps up in the final three laps, holds Reed at bay to take his first Moto win of 2009. Back for Moto2. Now the rain is coming down. Reed gets a good start, takes the lead, but soon Ivan Tedesco, Millsaps' Honda teammate, is able to wrestle the lead from Reed. We would be content to run in the number two position and wait for the track conditions to deteriorate. At the halfway mark, Reed would make his move around to Desco and get the lead. He knew with a 2-1 score he'd be looking at an overall, but the championship, well, would eventually fall his way as well. Andrew Short was in fifth at one point, but he'd make mistakes in the mud, drop to the back of the top ten. With that, Chad Reed would have enough points to lock up the championship, and there it is, Chad Reed wins the race. He's also your Monster Energy Triple Crown champion for the season. That's one happy ex-Supercross specialist up on the podium. Congrats out to Chad Reed. Two rounds remain in the series. We're going to Southwick, Massachusetts next. Be sure to check AllySports.com for all the series updates.